Artillery had made another 3D printer called Sidewinder X4 Pro. I have used X1 and X2 before and they are quite good. X4 Pro is middle sized printer with 240 x 240 x 260mm build volume. It's advertised as fast 3D printer with 500mm printing speed, default 300mm per second. X4 Pro has clipper firmware. This printer also has linear rails on X and Y axis, the C axis as typical wheels with bearings. Extruder is dual gear, direct drive and hot end max temp is 300 degrees. Hot bed max temp is 100 degrees and it's covered with texture PIA magnetic plate. On the back side of the bed is nozzle wiping spot, which you don't see on similar 3D printers very often. It seems to me that it's not necessary add-on, on with these settings it even a downside. With the downside, I mean wiping is done after the burst line and when it starts printing the model, it takes time to extrude correctly. Wiping could be before burst line to clean nozzle after heating. You can add skirt to prints or change start code to make it better. This printer has also filament runout sensor, which is very loose. But when you add one spacer, it will be much better. I also tested if resume printing works when filament ran out. It works fine. You almost can't see where it happened. Printing this model under extrusion happened, but it was much higher than the place resume took place. It was maybe a clog caused by the filament because it fixed itself. X4 Pro also have resume printing option when power goes out, but it didn't work as it should. It continued printing, but layer shift happened. X and Y axis homing before continuing may cause this error. X4 Pro don't have limit switch and it may cause a problem. I did have a problem with that off camera. After I printed this, C axis was up and when X axis homed, the extruder cable hit the frame. It didn't let X axis to move zero and it messed up the homing. It also happened on Y axis once. Overall, build quality is good and this printer is very sturdy. C axis has no wobble thanks to the support rods. C axis has two stepper motors and two lead screws, which are supported with bearings and connected with the belt on the top. This printer also has LED lights on the top of the frame which can be turned on and off and second next to the nozzle changing color when heating. The C-axis wheels are covered in plastic. If you need to adjust them, there are adjusting screws. It's not mentioned in X4 manual, but it's in X2. I thought at first that X4 Pro don't have belt engineers because I didn't see the engineering knobs. There are Allen head bolts for that. There are different connections, USB-A and Type-C on the front and there is antenna for wireless connection. You can control your printer and start printing with your phone, tablet or PC. Touchscreen is removable and stays in place with a magnet. X4 Pro has leveling sensor. Before you use this printer, you need to manually level and then auto level. First leveling didn't go as smoothly as it should. I experienced some crashes into the bed and I needed to do it several times. It once happened at the start of the printing. The user manual and quick guide missing info. Like before you hit the C0, you need to hit C offset 0. There is also missing some translation. I made simple leveling test print, I got it almost fine, at one point nozzle is too close and two points too far. This printer has 300 watt power supply. I did some measuring and power consumption during printing stays mostly under 150 watt. One 3D benchy took 40 minutes and about 92 watt hours. Measuring started when I switched on the printer and stopped when print finished. Next thing I measured was noise. So it makes about 52 to 53 decibels when cooling is on first mode and second mode a little bit more. If these numbers don't tell you anything, I can say it's on the lower side. 
I also did quick hot bed measuring and the results are good. Bed temp was set to 60 degrees. Temps are different points are very simple. Usually are some points lower. The interface looks fine. It seems to have all options you need. There is option to do input shaping on X and Y axis, but when I wanted to do it, showed errors, and I can't do it. I experienced some problems with printing from USB. When I open USB, I can see the files and I can open them, but I can't start printing. Also, no preview and print time shows the same on every print. I unplugged the flash drive and tried again, it worked. It happened two or three times after. It's not a big problem, but it's not just annoying. It only happened after you upload new files on the flash drive. Is it firmware or flash drive reader problem? I don't know. During the printing, you can adjust many things like temps, printing speed, fan speed and the extrusion rate. You can also see current printing speed. Adjusting the offset during printing is also available. I needed to adjust it with different prints. It saved the settings, but it was off many times. I did some test prints with different filaments and settings. First print, I did some precise PLA 3D printing from flash drive. It came out good and it took about uh, 40 minutes, which makes it even better. Different PLA. Cable grip also from flash drive. Filament holder part. One corner warped. I didn't use glue on bed because with texture plate it's not easy to clean it. Some ways or bot not printed in ways mode also from flash drive. It came out quite good. It's from the flash drive and I stop it in the middle of the print because this wasn't waste mode print. It's the first print I sliced with artillery slicer which is same as Brussels slicer. It is printed with 0.12mm layer height and with silk PLA which came out real nice. This dog is printed with PLA filament. Overall good print except one leg got loose from the bed and left the dog. Flexi had same filament as print before, came out also good. Printed it with melt and PLA. At first printing speed was too fast and I started it started under struising. Lowered the speed and all good. I didn't use high speed filament. Helicopter with moving plates. Print it upside down without any supports. This printer handled the bridging pa part very nicely. I printed it twice, first time I had C offset off and it fused the rotor part together. The round coin came out good. I need a little bit force to break free the smallest one, all other mode right away. I printed made the skews with different filaments. First one was PLA. It came out ok, lowered the speed and it went a little better, but it's not perfect. High speed PLA, same filament producer as last cube, much better, I can say it all perfect. PTG, not good, for those cubes I used filament settings which came with the printer, so they are default settings which seems not good for my PTG. ABS filament printed almost good, I noticed one small crack beside that it's the same quality as high speed PLA cube. It's not the first ABS one I printed. I had some problems with the bed addition. That's why there are a big prim. TPU printing speed was too much, so I printed new one with much slower speed. It came out good, but it printed it very slow. I also tried printing 3D prints with TPU. I started printing it with same speed as the first cube, and it was also too fast. 
I lowered the speed at the middle of the print and the upper part came out much better. 4x max printing speed is 500mm per second. I tried it with high speed PLA. Some extra filament pieces on the side, but the overall quality is ok. There are things what I don't like and also things that I like about this printer. I like the removal touchscreen, but the cable placement is not the best. If you want to take it off, the cable stuck behind holder. Also, if you want to put it back, cable is in the way. Next thing I noticed was the power socket is not fixed in place correctly, and it, it wobbles. Flexible plate has good adhesion, only a base filament didn't want to stick without brim. Linear rails are nice feature, but if you ask if it makes a big difference, I can't tell. I think the lifetime is longer than the regular wheels. There are some problems with the printer, but these problems don't stop you to get some good prints. Also these problems may be fixed with firmware update. If you look for a 3D printer around 300 euros with sturdy build quality and fast printing speeds, you could consider buying it. So if you have more questions about this printer, leave a comment and I will try to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching.